Well, it seems that uh, we learn nothing <laughs> as we seek the understanding of all things. The modern day Jews at Judaizers, or sorry, the modern day Judaizers are alive and kicking, and they come with a raging torrent, or as a raging torrent, towards you as you stand on the rock. But they're wasting your time. For those standing on the rock have no need of prophecy. They have no need of an Old Testament declaration because they are new covenant dwellers. They live in the new covenant. They are members of the new covenant world, citizens of the new covenant world. And I would implore, uh, implore all you who are seeking Christ to enter into the new covenant world. And this is the world where there is light, life and healing. There is no life in the written word. The life is in the spirit. Do you understand? And just as the Lord Jesus said, you keep searching the scriptures, thinking in them you have everlasting life. And here I am, says the Lord, declares the Lord. And yes, here he is. Here he is. And now we have the revealing of Christ in the fullness. We can understand our journey. We understand where we're going. We understand where we're going to end up. This is what's being revealed to the sons and daughters and to all those who are seeking everlasting life. Life is in the spirit. Death are in the written. There is no life in the written. The written things are a testimony. Are a historical testimony of the things that have gone before. Now, when, when will we finally get it and enter into the newness of life in the new covenant world? The modern day Judaizers keep coming. They keep trying to take you back into law. They keep trying to tell you a prophecy. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new being written. There's nothing new that can be said. It's all being revealed and manifest to us. And that just as the Lord says, no one will have the need to turn to his neighbour. And ask of God, for they will all know me, says the Lord, from the least to the greatest. I myself will teach them, says the Lord. And woe to the Judaizers, to the so-called prophets, who are seeking people to come after themselves, but they do not feed the people. They do not care for or cherish the people. And they will scatter at the first instant and leave you naked in the desert, in the wilderness, and at the mercy of wolves. Can you see how it works? So when we transfer from the flesh into the spirit, nothing can come against you. Nothing at all can come against you as you stand on the rock of faith in Christ and the revealing of Christ in them. They have no testimony of the living word in them. For out of the mouths of the sons and daughters will come everlasting life. And a few have shared this, or very few have shared this. From the mouths will come light, life and healing for the healing of the nations. But the modern day Judaizers want to drag you back into law. They will probably uh, recommend sacrifices of pigeons again. Can you see? Can you see how they operate? 
because they are psychologically and emotionally attached to the written things of the old covenant world. Because they cannot see. They have not seen. They have not tasted. They have not sought. They haven't asked to cross the Red Sea. It's a raging torrent, brothers and sisters. You need to be prepared. For many, many, many are going to come. And the enemies will be those members of your own household. The enemies won't come from the government. The enemies won't be your, your neighbours who live up the road. The enemies will come from those members of the household of faith. You need discernment. You need understanding. You need wisdom to recognise and see these things. For the false prophecies will become greater. And they will come with signs and wonders. Because a generation keeps on seeking and asking for a sign. For, this, uh, for them to have permission to carry on believing. And the minute they don't get a sign or a wonder... They will stop believing. They will turn their back. They will fall away. And they will take it, try to take others with them. And this is what the Judaizers did in the first century. They tried to take the faithful ones out of the new covenant. They tried to take them out from uh, the, the journey into the new covenant world. To stay in that old covenant system. Which the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, brought to an end. And well, I'm so grateful that he's done that. I'm so grateful that he's given us a new hope. He's given us life in the spirit. Not from the observed things. Not from the written things. Not from a teaching. But a revelation, an understanding, a revealing of all that was written as a testimony for us to carry on that journey. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, and you modern day Judaizers and false prophets, keep on bringing it, keep on bringing it on. Show me what you got, because it ain't nothing. And the Lord will stand back and laugh at you, because you will become ashamed. You will be seen as foolish in your efforts, especially those recommending themselves as a teach, as the teacher, as the prophet, as an angel of God. My heart, I still love you. My heart yearns for your deliverance. My heart yearns for you to humble yourselves and come down from your pride, from your auto love. And humble yourselves to become the greatest you must be. Become the least. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us that power and strength to overcome these things, to overcome these many sounding waters that have great teachings. They have great uh, or claim to have great understanding, which for a moment sounds great. It sounds true. It sounds real. It sounds right. And it sounds Oh, these people are of God. These people are the church. These people are the future. They're not. The Lord Jesus Christ is your future. The Lord Jesus Christ is your shepherd. The Lord Jesus Christ is your teacher. The Lord Jesus Christ is your church. The Lord Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God. The Lord Jesus Christ is the true Israel. The Lord Jesus Christ is your king. And in him alone we stand and rebuke and refute all that comes that will try to rob you of your faith. And so quieten your mouth and still your mouth to stop you proclaiming and speaking the kingdom of God. 